Welcome. Let's build our snake game using JavaFX. So the first thing is to create a new project. Let me say JavaFX and let me name. Let me give that name Java Snake Game. And let me click finish. And I have set the preferred, which is in the preferred side, uh, the height of the roots. Now this will create a window pane, an empty pane. Look like here. This is not maximizable. This is a snake game, as you can see here. That's all. Look at the next steps to create that circle, which is the foot, which will be appear randomly. Let me create that one. First of all, let me create a circle in instance from the JavaFX shape. Now, let me create a function. So that the foot will not go beyond from our window. After creating this foot, and we will set the foot, set the color, this one. Right. So we set that one. And we will add to the pin. Whenever you call this new foot, will create a random circle in the given radius. Let me show you an example. Five radius as a smaller circle. In here, the circle has been created. And when I run twice, the circle is around here. This is just a random circle whenever you call this point. That's all. This is for the new foot instance. And next, we will see, we will create uh, the snake. For the snake, let us use the snake as a circle also. Doesn't matter. You can create it by using a rectangle, but I like to create by using a circle. So, I have to create also private void new snake so like like a food the snake is also a circle so circle and I have to specify the point when it's initialized the point it's initialized I want to do the center of our window All this new snake. Good, as you can see, this is a middle of uh, point. To handle the event, I want to do the event listener to be the scene itself. You can put scene the R event handler or R event filter. You can do let me use this argument filter. Okay. 
informat it, then let me run it. So as you can see, when I press or hold this uh, button, and when I release the key, the snake will not move by itself. It go by itself. It must go by itself. So I need to add a thread. Let us define the move function first. In the move function, let me define new class. <clears throat> let me call that class it's direction. Doesn't matter. You can use, instead of this class, you can use numbers. But this direction is enum. These are just the direction of the snake. Let me save it. Let me go over here. Let me create private direction. So at initial, the direction of the snake will be up. Let me introduce another one and I will tell you. If the current direction is up, it will go up. We have to do this one. But in here, if the code is up, we will change the current direction, which means the direction. Let me call this as a current direction. Current direction. We will change the current direction into direction to that. So we will change the current direction. Not that we haven't used the step or the move function so far. When we press a key up, the current direction value will be changed. That's only we don't we didn't apply anything on the snake. But in here, when you call the step, depends on the current direction, it will change its point, center of point. But we want to change in this center of point by using a thread. So let us create a new thread that we'll call this step for all every time. For forever, I want to call this. Just let us create one running. And this is R. So this runnable will run forever by calling this move and sleep and move. And after we create this runnable, we have to initiate it by the thread class to in order to call the start method. That's all we need to do. Then this thread will just call move function. This move function forever. This move function also call this step. But before we call the step, because this step function modify the nodes on the scene, we have to surround it by a special JavaFX class called Platform. Run this function. Even if I don't press anything else, it can move by itself. And when I press the left one, it goes by itself. So it's now it's just a little bit slow. In order to uh, make it fast, you just need to simply decrease this uh, value. So it will, it will go fast, faster. See, when this snake go upward, for instance, it go forever and you will not, you will not find it. We need to adjust the location. That's so. so this will be will adjust the location after the step if the adjust it. Now so far so good. Now eat. <coughs> So, 
eat if the circle of the head of the snake is reached at the food it will eat do that i need to create a class in order to appropriately write my code so that i need to create a class called snake and shift some of the code inside the snake and the snake has a list of circle which is its tails and it has the lengths of and it has also the direction so I want to replace this circle instance by this snake so we know that this snake is a circle so we can extend this snake from the circle that makes it a circle let me change over here and this replace it by snake and this is a class of snake it's the look like the same as a circle it doesn't have anything else it has a center of y and center of y let me move this tape inside the snake I don't want this one Now this will be snake but step and allow it to be seen by others and I don't want to this one So after that, let me call, cut this thing into this snake. Define here a function called it. This it function will accept the food. That food is a circle for the snake. And the snake will eat that food to get it its tail and add this circle into the tail. So what is the tail? The tail is the last circle inside uh, on this tail. Say private circle. Now from it, this is it function. So when we when we call this it function, when the snake head reaches at this foot, at the front foot. So this let us call this is as a hit. That's all. It will, it will return true if the food and the snake are intersect each other. The head of the snake. In this case. Okay. On this snake step, after we adjust the location, let us make this to public snake eat its food, and. Let us increase some kind of a score. We don't have a score, a variable. So to for the score, let us uh, do the lengths of the snake. You can get this string like this. And after it eats, the snake eats its food and add it to the tail, I have to call 
another foot. The step function is not a good implementation so far. This one. Uh, we will modify it. We will start from the, the uh, tail of the snake. And let me use the for loop to do that. That's all. This is a step. After this uh, shifting has been done, then it will follow. And now the code will uh, run perfectly as we need. So this is it. So this is the first one. And we need to increase it by some kind of speed. So, so the speed must be increased depends on the length. So to do that, The last thing is game over. Here another class uh, function called it itself. This will return the boolean value, and let's let's make that one it itself inside here. And let me go to my main class, this snake thing. And so we can say else if for initializing purpose of the snake, let us let us eat some kind of food. Now, this is it. Thank you very much for watching, guys.